Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. We are back, and it is. St you did say this, and I had I had this yesterday. Man, it's it's Monday because it felt like Sunday yesterday. So it kind of threw my <coughs> wonky jaws off. Well, we went and got some clothes for, got some shoes for Caden and stuff like that. And about three o'clock, she was gonna go with her nieces to get theirs. I was gonna come on home. I'm gonna flip over, and watch me a little PGA. <laughs> You know what? PGA ain't on on Monday. <laughs> That's how much I thought it was Sunday. I, it was, it kind of got me about six o'clock. But you know me, I got a little more excited because I went. Oh, it's already Monday. You know what happens in two days? She goes, I know you bow. I went, bow. Let's don't even bring that up. Uh, all right. Hey, <sighs> I want to. Let's just go right into this. Would you? And 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 Hope's gonna do this. But do you think the public would enjoy his video blog of him trying to lose 100 pounds? Uh, I think some people will. I think some people won't. It's like a TV show. Yeah. You like some, I like some. <laughs> but for me, I would like, I would watch it because I'm his friend and I want him to lose 100 pounds. I agree with that. And I'm going to tell you right now, he will not... Be this is why I think it's going to be good. He will not be strict, and he's not afraid to say when he screwed up, what he ate, right. what, and that's what I want people to see is if you fall down, you can get back up. I promise you, he's going to eat a big old burrito. I promise you. Yeah, his willpower isn't <laughs> what you know drives his weight loss. He, I, I, but I think he's to that point, and yep. And he can comment on this if he wants. Yeah. But I think he's to that point that his, he's getting around 40. He knows he's overweight. Yeah. And he can tell it. Yeah. And overweight at 40 ain't a good thing. It's tougher. It's tougher. And it's hard on your body. It's hard on your, your heart. It's hard on everything. And, and we are going to make fun change. of him, trust me. Ooh, but yeah. we're also there to encourage and help just that's kind of the thing he was talking to us about is there's somebody else else out there that doesn't have the support group like i, I have a full gym in my garage will he ever be in here i doubt it that's what he ought to do is he ought to put some other some of those other people he ought to they ought to build a little team and kind of do it together yeah so you know he'll comment on this but we're going to talk about it today when we get down to the backyard uh speaking of the backyard great weekend so we talked about it a little bit yesterday. Great weekend. You got today's the thirtieth, thirty first. You got back left twelve days. Eleven days, I think. Eleven. Well, you, As of yeah. six o'clock last night, she's got that countdown thing. I think it's eleven days. Eleven days. Eleven days. <clears throat> you know they allow. <laughs> eleven days. During the reception, the best man and the. Ma matron of honor because she's married get to say a toast i already got mine i can't wait i, I can't wait i've already got i mine, can wait but i can't wait uh actually you're gonna like it because i i told it to stephanie and uh she went that's pretty dang good i went i know it's good. <laughs> i had a few zingers and jabs in there but i'm hoping the preacher will do some of those so uh, I don't think he will. I, I think he's going to be more more traditional. But uh, I for, might just shoot a couple out while the ceremony's going on. For people who might be tuning in the first time, I'm getting married in 11 days. We thought it'd never happen again. That's I, true. That's true. I said it would never happen. Again. I did too. I and, said it for me. So yeah, you said it for a lot longer than I did, and it had got to the point that I didn't think it would happen. For either of us. And then, bam, there it is. If it fails, same as same as mine, if it fails, is it completely the last one? If uh, it fails, if it all goes to hell in 18 days or two years, is it completely it, the last it, one? It, I don't plan on it ending, so I'm going to say this is the last one. If... I'm gonna say what I I'm gonna say it the right way. If it me and Stephanie don't make it, it will be my last one. I will never do it again. 
And I have said that, but it took me 17 years to find Stephanie. So 17 more years, I'll probably be dead. So I'm probably on the right track. <laughs> right. I was saying. You probably, you probably it won't happen again. Be the truth, yeah. You can probably live <laughs> up to that. I can't wait to see the response from uh, Stephanie Ann from Brooke. See, I ain't even married yet. That's why I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is y'all's favorite thing to do besides that? What is y'all's favorite thing as a couple? Because I'm going to ask this about other couples. What do you guys enjoy most? Not just like arts and crafts, but doing what? 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 What is the? What do y'all like to do? What y'all's thing that y'all do together that y'all <clears throat> like to do? People will go, man, you're crazy. Okay. Eating breakfast. Okay. And eating supper. Okay. We make breakfast. Right now she's doing a shake, and I eat raisin bran and stuff. And before that, we meal prepped, and we would sit at the counter, no TV on, and just okay. welcome the morning. Like that. And then in the evening, Have dinner. we would do the same thing. And it was it felt like when I was a kid, and you all ate together. All right. Remember, remember those days? That yep. don't happen anymore. No. But it's it's happening in my house. Right. Right. Now, and it's really cool because you catch up on the day, and we have a deal that if something's going on where she works, she'll go. Ah, when I get home, I'll tell y'all about it. It's not right then. So I get to tell her. About the backyard and and Red Sea. And, I like that. That's a good. That's you a good know the, the struggles, the arguments, the good weekends, all those things, and it's it's so refreshing it's, to me. Right. You know, I'm not much of a talker. Yeah. But for some reason, I am now because I enjoy it. What is you know? I don't like talking to you because we're gonna talk about the same thing every yeah, time. every time. I totally so agree it, with it, that. It, 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 kind of harsh way to say it, but. It's the same thing unless Tiger Woods gets a DUI or LeBron is going to lose another championship or whatever. Yeah, well, ours is... It, or a new movie trailer's coming out yeah. or whatever. But it's kind of refreshing just to have some new some new. That's topics. what I want. What is y'all's <laughs> deal? What is y'all's? What is the thing y'all like to do together? Mine, mine and Stephanie's is we like working out. We like being in the garage. That's when we do the same talking that y'all do. That's that's the fun part. It's the dogs are out there with us, and we just laugh and have a good time. Do you, do you feel do you feel that when when Stephanie was in that that deal of having to work way early to way late and just not wanting to work out that y'all weren't as tight as you are now that you're back in the gym working out together? No, nah. nah, her her deal then was she would just bitch about the day and the frustration so <laughs> it was the same thing it's just we wasn't in the gym i just became a bouncing board and i never did this well let me tell you what my day was like because my day because i'm gonna tell you my days are good every day i right. don't care so i'm not gonna be hey you know what i did today i got my pump on when i know she worked 14 hours and was tired mm -hmm. so i just became the it was the same deal. We same. We still laughed and everything, but I had to get her past that. Man, these mother sons of this new come. Once I got her past that, it was okay. Oh yeah. So, uh, I'm not a. You know me. I'm not a very good baby. Let me hear all your problems, and I'll I'll listen to you, and I'll take care of them. I say what I got to say. We're gonna make fun of them. Stephanie, just call me. I'll listen. And moving on. I'll listen. So. She better not have those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what is your thing that you guys like to do together? Tell us that. And we're going to get out of here. But today we're having ham and turkey club sandwich with chips. For $7. Seven bucks. And I'm going to tell you, I, we're going to be down there at lunch. I will have me a ham and turkey club. It ain't just to slap it together. No. It, there's some love that goes into love these, that uh, goes these in things. There. Love but that goes for in For $7, there. it's a lot of love. It's a lot. It's, it's gonna be. Know. It's gonna be good. What's big? What's what we got going this weekend? Or what we got? Two days. Collins home. I know it. June first, man. Can't wait. Uh, <laughs> ask him what time we got to pick him up. He went. I think ten or eleven. So some things hadn't changed. You know, <laughs> I'll just get down there about nine and wait. I guess I don't know. But uh, this weekend, Roger Krieger and then Branded Hart on Saturday. Ooh, Branded Hart's gonna be. And good. if you like to dance, Branded Hart. We'll play 
that music. If you like to party and have a, a couple of thousand drinks, Roger Crager. That's going to be good. Our sponsor of the day is CTIS. I said it right. Shane Christian. I almost messed that up. You almost did. That's our sponsor of the day, man. We appreciate those guys. We might have to have a few more and cameras. Can I, can I, I'll tell you one more thing. we got a few yeah, more seconds yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. We are on a service plan with those guys. Yes, we are. Down at the backyard. Which means we pay them monthly, and they give us X amount of hours. So if we go, man, something's not working, they rip on out, fix it up. You don't get charged that big service call, you know, right, right. Hundred dollars if you show up or whatever. You get those those hours in that month to to come out and get some things fixed. Uh, if you got to have a new wire, you got to pay for the new wire right. or whatever. But I'm kind of digging it, and they could do it for you. They do it for a bunch of other people. Did you know there's a lot of people that do that now? From doctors to air conditioning people yeah. to everybody, and that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Like insurance, in case mm-hmm. of Chris Rock said it, insurance is in case shit happens. Insurance. That's what it is. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. We are 